hi guys welcome back to my channel before you start watching this video try to scroll down and click on this red button click on the bell button beside it so that you'll be notified anytime i release another part of this video hi guys you are welcome back to part two of my tutorial on how to create explainer video now today we are moving on to another stage now where we st uh, the play we stopped last time let me open the project now you click on open project then look for the file so, uh, so that was part one that what we did the way i saved it all right now this is where we stopped you can see now today and i taught you how to open this canvas open canvas that's to edit what you've done so let me delete this now i want to start afresh today now we did add to text button last time but this part two we are moving on to sketch images now on this sketch images that is when you start drawing images different and that you import you export and others okay now let's click on this sketch image now as you can see we are i have already uh images i've done before so in this place your own may not be much like this so i will explain how you can import yours and if you check a personal library that means the recent one you have made use of so that would be one that would be here okay so anything maybe you need any image on anima you click on anima here you can see so let me use this click on it now it's on this thing now so you can expand it now let's check how this thing will work so close canvas do you see how i sketch it there is no voice so let me disable voice unless you want to add it here i taught you in part one so you want to add voice very easy you want to add audio it's very easy to do so you don't know that go to part one of my tutorial all right now let me add effect to this so this thing does not show you click on small medium or large anyone click on small so this card i entered so click on this icon you can see sketch by hand so you want to change this effect you can let me select this let's see how this one works that's nonsense all right let me select sketch by hand so preview can you see how it sketches this thing okay now the sketching is too fast you want to reduce it you can extend this thing so it will be very slow now Let, let's preview it now can you see it's very slow so if you reduce this thing it'll be very fast you can see it's very fast all right so that's how to import um, sketch image into this thing so let me hide this let me add another one so books you can see this person or this girl or this one let me click on this let's reduce it okay if you want to add more you can see everything here all right so let me now let's design this thing two ends together that's very bad so how you do it the first one is this the second one is this so you must extend it so that means after the first one has uh, sketched so it's move on to the second one so let's check this is nice all right now before i move on let me quickly explain oh let's see say yes now let me quickly explain sometimes maybe you have okay let's use external image now for example i'm looking for um let me just say player now football player so and i don't see the icon here or let me say i don't see the image here so what are you going to do follow my procedure i have unlimited images to provide so let's go straight here i don't need this i just show you how to make it all right now go to your browser now go to this website 
That's public domain vectors.org. That public domain vectors.org. You can see public domain vectors.org. On this website, search anything you are looking for. So I'm looking for a player. Search it. So which one do you need? Let me, I need this one. Click on it. As you can see, so download. It is now in SVG, good. So go back to your software. Click on Ask Sketch. You can't find it here. Click on Browse. So it's under my download. This is it, Soccer Player. So import it. Now this is it. That's how to make use of it. Now next time you want to use it now, it should be under recent here. It's not added yet, not yet. So later it will come. So it should be under this recent. All right, now, but you can't find it on any place here. So that means if someone needs the image, there's no way you can provide it. Maybe uh, I have many already made. So, and you want to import it so that it, it will come to this place. Come to import. You can see, uh, sketch pack so that is under this sketch pack we don't have any so if we have so if we import them everything will come to this place so now let me quickly explain how you can import images instead of you selecting it one after the other that's very bad so how can you import so these are to import you know i have one here already so let me I have under player download. I have another player download. I have another player. Oh no, let me use this one download. Now you can see I have four players. How am I going to put these four players so that we have a folder in this play called players? It's just four. You can add like hundred as as many you want. So I want to have a place here where where I will name it players. So that next time I'm looking for players, I will just click on it and it will fetch me all players. Anyone I will just choose from. All right. So here we go. The first step, the first thing to do after you've downloaded the SVG one, two, three, four. After you've downloaded them. The next step is go to SVG to PNG. The first you can SVG to PNG.com. Click on it. Now those four SVG you downloaded, just drag them there or you upload them anywhere. Just drag them here. So wait for sometimes all right download all so come back here you can see what i downloaded okay now this my four svg this four svg copy it now let's open this thing you see that what i downloaded has been converted to png so what i copied paste it here so that means we having the four SVG and in PNG format, another one in PNG in PNG format, another one you can see. So we have SVG and we have PNG, and they have the same name. Okay, so let me now call this zip file. Let me call it. Okay, before I call it, let me unzip. Let's unzip. That's the best. So look for the folder. Sorry, SVG. Okay, now this is a folder. Now this folder, let me call it my library. Alright, so I want to have a folder called players. So player players are found inside that folder. That's number one. Let me create another folder called engineers 
engineers so that means if i'm looking for engineers and we just open here but do i have any i don't have so let me explain this also so let's look for engineer engineers let me remove the s from it okay so i want you download i want which other engineer go back i want you let's choose this let me just use only four all right so after that change it to change them to png clear you can upload one two three change them to png good download now if we check now we have uh, the one i just download and the svg3 svg so copy them then go to this your folder engineers paste it here so on zip i want to have all of them on this place so this three images take it out take them out now i have it like this so png svg png svg png svg so that means on this folder we have engineers on this folder we have players and the name of the f my of my folder is called what my library so these are the two folders i want to import into our video tutorial let me zip it players any name yeah. all right now come back here in this place i want to have my own folders called players uh, and engineers so it's not a so i want to have it now so follow my procedure now you click on import it is not slide pack it is image pack or it's not image pack because we have um, this image pack means bitmap images so the one we are talking about now is sketch pack so this is it. sketch pack so click on it browse look for so let me cut my library okay so the two folders are inside this my zip file so click on it you can see this start import click on start import you can see import complete good close now go back to this sketch image let's for engineer what's this engineers so let me click on engineer you can see three engineers i had at that time so i can find it here players these players let me click on it the four players i had it you can find it now you can see that next time if you need players you just click here look for players select any one you are looking for you can see this all right so you can just put i know how i just want to make a, um, an example how to make use of this thing with your text you can see let me add mm, another one players another one reduce it i want this one to face here so what will you do you can see now we have flip vertical we have uh, flip horizontal so this one this yes horizontal is to turn it upside down all right now it faces the other side here now so we have we know make it bold now how we change this to italics look for bold and italics good all right so close canvas let's design now the first footballer 
sketch the first one okay the second one it happens at the same time so that means i need to adjust this thing to the front what about this text this text should also be sketched but when at the end of everything so let me change this text to red all right close canvas let's play this thing let's play it okay now you can see we know how to play ball so that is a simple way to start with the sketch images i believe you understand my explanations all right now another one is on these sketch images if you maybe after the end of we know how to play football you want this one to maybe to just be going like this and pass it so what will you do it's very simple just click on see you see this icon plus so click on it now there's one thing like spirit <laughs> that shows here so drag it where is it going that means it should be moving to this place now after the add point again so it should still move again add point again add point it should now move out so that means it should move like this like this it the step of the movement is this one two so you can make it one two three four that one be very slow okay so let's check it out I can see all right so that's how to animate it so I put animations there so we see that it is moving up and down so that is simple way to work with this sketch is very is very long so we can't finish it now but the the rest of the tutorial will be on that when we want to add all our ideas this one this one everything together to make a cool video so that's why you know more about sketch about the other aspect so that is all for part two thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you'll be notified anytime i release part three and others thank you